Hey folks, how you doing today? So what we're offering is a 1926 Jennings Rockaway trade stimulator. This is the first one I've ever owned. Uh, I've always admired these machines. This basically is set up like a uh, Kaylee Bullfrog or a Mills Cricket. It's in the same style with the flat jackpots. Uh, this is a very nice machine. What I did when I got it in was that somebody had painted the casting silver, took them off, had them high polished. Uh, I went back and I painted in the lines here in just a nice black with just a very nice maroon accent. I kept it nice and clean. I didn't gaudy it up. That's kind of the way I like to do things. As well as I was able to save the finish. This is all the original finish. You know, I have a way to, you know, I sand them and put polish on them and squirt a little of this on them, a little of that on them. So they come out very nice, original decals. It's got a nice tiger oak back door. Same on this side, nice original decal. Uh, this, the, I personally did this machine, it runs good. Uh, it's a five jacks. This is what's kind of cool. And as you see, the Rockaway portion, both of these are spring loaded. These two bars here will go up and down depending on how the coin goes through there. Okay. So this is a very nice machine. Once again, it's from the 20s. Once you hit a jackpot, you push this for a second time and it opens the jackpot. Once to put it in, one more time if you hit a jack and it will drop the jack. Back here, I'm gonna show you inside this. Most of these old gaming machines had percentage clips in them. So they had a way to basically increase or decrease the payouts. Come on up here, Jeff. I just want to show them something. So right here, I've put some tape, three pieces of tape right here on these little pins for you to see. Those three little pins represent these three little jackpots. And if you look real close, you can see a little, a little mark right here where those pins can come up against this glass. And it literally takes these three jackpots out. So you can put one jackpot in, two jackpots in, three. And incidentally, it's these three jackpots are the easy ones to hit. These are the hard ones. Right now, I have the pins out. The only jackpots that you could actually win would be one and five. These are gone, okay? So all you do is these are very tightly snugged in there. You just loosen these and bring them out and it will fall into the jackpot, okay? So they're taken out, I just did that. I, I had them out and I was playing it. it. It's so liberal, I was winning every time, so I had to, Push it back in, but that will be up to you. As you see, it's got the nice original decal. I personally went through the mechanism. The machine runs very nice. It's very complete. I made sure all of the tilt mechanisms are here. As you see, the tilt is here this way, okay? And the tilt is here both ways. Everything works nice. This is just an absolutely killer machine. And I put it on one of my famous bases, okay? So I built the base. Uh, it is just simply did not alter the machine at all. It is cradled right in here. These really do give a third dimension. I love them. I try to put them on everything that I think is appropriate for them. This is a beautiful machine. If you want something that's uh, really not all that common, this is a pretty rare machine. This could maybe be for you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us and I'll be happy to chat with you about it. Anyway, thank you for your time and I hope you get this. These are antiques. These are mantiques. Antique, mantique. These guys sell mantiques. This is their store. We're picking, we're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking. These are their customers. Give me the rundown on the GMC. This lived in a bar in Ghent in Belgium. Follow Jim and Jeff from nine to five or after hours as they buy, sell, and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide.